As you may be aware, despite Uber's near ever-present nature in our lives, on our roads, and even in everyday conversation, the company has been operating at a loss year after year. The firm's deal with Aurora is looking to change that, as Uber is outsourcing and reducing its own investment into autonomous vehicles. But what does this mean for Uber's own finances going forward? Where does it leave their self-driving department? And are we any closer to ordering a driverless taxi to our front door? Here's how it happened. 2020 marks Uber's fifth consecutive year of net losses exceeding $1 billion. The company has struggled to make a profit thus far, mainly due to their aggressive pursuit of increased market share, driver and customer incentive programs, and as we'll see later, heavy investment into the technologies of tomorrow. The rideshare firm's progress towards profitability has also been marred by regulatory issues, including the suspension of services in Barcelona and the stripping of its London licence last year. Rivals like Lyft also operate at a loss. So what makes the ride-hailing industry such a major money pit? The answer lies in self-driving or autonomous vehicles. Uber currently allocates around 80% of total journey fees to its drivers, a figure that could be nearly eradicated once the technology enables cars to drive themselves. As a result, companies like Uber, Lyft, Google and Tesla are pouring billions into their research departments, in the hope of being the first to develop the tech that could change transport forever. Uber's self-driving department, Advanced Technologies Group, has already received backing from firms such as Toyota, Denso and SoftBank. But still the business is struggling to get their projects off the ground, and at a heavy price. So what role does Aurora have to play? The company's three co-founders, Chris Ermson, Sterling Anderson and Drew Bagnall, are no strangers to driverless vehicles. Ermson had already held the position of director at Google's Waymo division for eight years. Anderson was director of autopilot programs at Tesla, while Bagnall had been head of autonomy at Uber. The trio's goal was to focus on the software, not the hardware, that would one day allow cars to travel with nobody behind the wheel. After raising $90 million in Series A funding in 2018, they followed up with a Series B funding round of $530 million the next year, while some of its investors have included Amazon and Sequoia Capital. Aurora has also held partnerships intermittently with the likes of Volkswagen, Fiat Chrysler, Hyundai and Chinese startup Byton. The company currently has 600 employees, and its bosses are considerably more modest in their expectations than others have been in the past. Ermson has stated that the release of a self-driving truck will be the first use of their technology to hit the roads, given they don't carry any passengers and complete the majority of their miles on highways, making for much simpler navigation. And so far, there's been no official date set for when their project might hit the mainstream. Meanwhile, 2020 has been a rough year for Uber, as the global pandemic dealt a critical blow to the firm's already troubled finances, with demand for rides down 73% in the second quarter of the year compared to 2019. Even their Uber Eats division struggled, as businesses have been forced to close, making fewer vendors available on their app. Dara Koswashahi, Uber's CEO, has been forced to cut back on their more experimental work that doesn't match up with their main rideshare efforts. The company offloaded Jump, its collection of e-scooters and bikes, to direct rival Lime during the summer of 2020, and its self-driving division has followed suit. Advanced Technologies Group has now been sold to Aurora in a deal that values the department at around $4 billion. Uber's founder, Travis Kalanick, once described autonomous driving as an essential investment to a company like his, but after several issues with capital and the law, as one of the firm's self-driving prototypes killed a pedestrian in 2018, Uber has elected to let go of its own driverless division. However, Khosrowshahi insists this is not the end of Uber's interest in the industry. The deal also includes a $400 million investment from Uber into Aurora, providing a 26% stake in return, and also gives Khosrowshahi a seat on Aurora's board of directors. It's believed the move may accelerate the path to finally launching autonomous vehicles on our roads, and help steer Uber towards the holy grail of profitability. And that's how it happened. Make sure to check out our other videos on Waymo and Arrival to learn more about autonomous and electric vehicles. Thanks for watching.